Welcome to another episode of Loki. It's getting interesting. We found uh, there's a girl, woman Loki version. Fun. And he escaped. He ran away from, uh, what's his name? Mobius? Let's see. When did he go his powers back? I thought he couldn't do magic in that ministry. They're not in the building anymore. <laughs> I thought they just went down, you know, off the floor. <laughs> not that they teleported somewhere else, like far away. That's how he has his powers back. Yeah. Why do they need to argue like they were five-year-olds? I understand that they doing this bickering because they're enemies or maybe they will be lovers at some point because who knows, you know? But do they need to argue like they're like five-year-olds? Is that really necessary? Like this is not... It's not even funny arguing you know what i mean the, I, th I think it could could be better brute force is no substitute for diplomacy and guile Evacuation vessel. Something like that would have enough juice to fill Paladus for months. <laughs> this is 
is like the rocket to Mars and the rocket to the sun from The Simpsons, but it's just one rocket. <laughs> Only famous and rich people can exist. Typical. Taking this one to Sheru, okay? And the tickets? Orders come from the top to get her on this train. Oh, that's so cute. I'm sorry, but they will have to, they should walk a little bit faster than that. Or are they sure not gonna make it? They're like strolling, you know? Can you hurry up a little? I don't. Mm. Oh, this is an interesting development. So they like they take them as variants and they brainwash them to forget that. Is that what we're talking about? Because so they're variants, so they are they take them out of the timeline so they cannot be variants anymore and mess up with the timeline and they brainwash them and they put them to work and they say oh you were created by me the timekeeper now you work for me maybe understand that this is very intriguing like you're in the planet suddenly your moon starts to break but they know what's going on and they know what's going to happen can they just hurry up i cannot i cannot stand looking at them and just they just like oh just run towards it or some do something don't stare they're looking why uh, why are they not moving Oh, there we go. Also, those security guards, bro, you're about to die. Just stop worrying about people, you know? Like, I mean, like, stop worrying about your job. You're about to die. You're not getting on the... I, I understand... I, I would understand if there were the guards inside the vessel, right? But they, they are not in the vessel. They're not getting on it. And so... Why you keep worrying about your job? Stop fighting people. You know, find your loved ones. Just... <sighs> oh. 
Holy shit. What did I say? They should walk faster. But no. No one listens to me. Here we are. No vessel anymore. I'm still surprised that there's no after credits scenes on this show. But honestly, no. What now? Well, I guess we'll figure it out next episode because there's going to be more episodes. They're not just going to die. I mean, they're going to survive somehow. The question is how, but we'll see next episode. But, uh, this episode was such a bust for me. Like, there were there was barely any information. The only th the only interesting thing is about what what she said about the the timekeeper soldier that she was a human on Earth before she was a variant, and then got draft draft into the soldier scheme um but other than that it was just pointless fights and talking nonsense nothing really interesting like this this episode could have been half the length in my opinion like there were too many fight scenes for what Like to put fight scenes, it just they just felt like they needed more fight scenes to justify the the price of the of the doubles. You know the the acrobat people the the, the doubles because otherwise, um, why so many fight scenes? It's so unnecessary. Like the the last ones with those security guards when they were trying to get to the vessel. Why would the security guys fight them off? Like, if I was that security guard and my planet is, is about to get completely destroyed and I'm not going into that vessel why would I keep worrying about my job? I was like, yeah, have at it. You wanna try to get in? Yeah, sure. Try. There's no chance I'm getting in, so who cares anymore? You know what I mean? So the, the wasted of that time fighting people. <sighs> I mean, I guess they, yeah, I understand. They put those fights so they got laid to the vessel and the vessel got destroyed. Yeah, but it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that those security guards were still fighting when they were about to die. Like what, what for? What for? What are you fighting for? But anyway, I'm very interested in the brainwash of the soldiers that Mobius knows. I mean, Mobius doesn't know he, he was a human on Earth. Or maybe he was a, a being in another planet, but, you know, not just Earth. You see, that's interesting. Not all the fight scenes. I mean, we've seen them fight already. There's fights in every Marvel movie, in every Marvel show. Like, if I want to see fights... I will look, I will watch the Falcon and Winter Soldier, you know what I mean? Because they fight. These people are tricksters. They have magic. I want to see more of that, not just punches and kicks, you know? That's the, that's the, the funny thing, not the funny thing, but the attractive thing about Loki as a character, that he is a trickster, he's not a fighter. Like, I don't want to see throwing punches. I don't care about that. I want to see tricks. <sighs> but anyway, I still enjoy it. So, let's keep watching. <laughs>